Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and uh, welcome. It's been a while since I've been online, so uh, figured I'd share with you this afternoon. Uh, pretty uh, simple painting. Uh, I've seen some attempts at this in watercolor. Uh, I've seen acrylic. Uh, um, Kind of a seascape with a with a ship, a sailing ship, and I've never tried it, so uh, I invite you all along with me to be a part of the journey of uh, attempting this small little painting. And I got a a uh, probably an eleven by thirteen canvas. Uh, so smaller canvas and we're going to do this thing in oil so those of you that know I, I, I generally paint with oil I did try pan pastels one time and uh, I did fail miserably I, that was a challenge that my wife had given me to uh, I've never even seen that medium before and uh, She'd kind of given me a challenge to uh, to do that with uh, pan pastels, and I did find a good use for pan pastels uh, afterwards, and uh, that is to put my oil paint in the little containers. So those of you that use pan pastels, I admire you for it. And uh, I'll stick with my hole. So just gonna put a a light coat of of white mixed with some some linseed oil. Kind of make the canvas slick. Looks good enough. I guess I can zoom in instead of y'all having a look at me. Maybe that's a little bit better. I think that's good enough. So I thought we got a pretty good coverage. We'll just kind of go with the flow and see how it works out. Been a couple of months since I've really painted anything with my work and between that and everything else going on, it's, it's, it's time for me to get back to it. Definitely, I'm glad to be back in here. Let's see, I think we're probably going to do a um, kind of a stormy sky with uh, some sea. We'll make the horizon line a little a little over halfway, a little less than halfway. We'll we'll start with the sky. Let's see if I can find a brush here. I kind of want to go get my palette knife. I want to mix some some white, a touch of blue. Don't use much of that blue. Some black. Kind of go with a, a gray color for the sky. Of course, I'm never prepared. I should have some paper tiles here. Just put a 
little bit of my gray color on here. like stormy weather. Let me get some, get some dark mixed in. Make some little clouds. See if I can find my little fan brush. Get some titanium white. All y'all's have a good weekend. I wound up working yesterday, but that's okay. I gotta eat. Gotta eat. Just be thankful that we're able to. physically able to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of looks good with the dark cloud undertone there overlapping a little bit. It's a little stormy weather going. Kind of fluff those clouds up a little bit. Good enough. We won't we won't fool those a whole lot more. Figure out what what color we're gonna make our sea, our ocean. We'll have a boat on here. We already know it's stormy weather, so probably use a phthalo blue. It's going to be dark too, just a, a shade darker than the sky. Sorry y'all, maybe one day Santa Claus will bring me enough brushes that I don't have to spend so much time cleaning. Got my old dirty fan brush, so it's gonna add a little bit more blue. Let's 
just a very little touch of say a little green to give this We'll have fun doing it anyway. If nothing else. Yeah, that looks about right. A little bit lighter towards the horizon. I always want to, or I, try to go a little bit lighter towards the horizon. Well, that's convincing enough. I like the way it's shaping up so far. We've done the easy part. Uh, let's see. Probably going to put our sailboat just, just above the horizon a little bit. Get my palette knife out because I can tell you I sure can't draw a straight line. So just kind of let's see how I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put him front of this bow right here. And this side coming around. Some people would probably draw this out. That ain't no fun. Kind of curve that in. All right. See if that looks good to me. We'll see. We'll see how it works out. Uh, let's see. Just use some black to block him in. Kind of dark to well, boats or she's, I guess. So I'll call it she. I don't know why they call them she's, but Let's see. OK. 
Alors, on va lui voir au moins au fond. Hein. See how I want the sails to, to go. Gonna be some big old sails on here. mast in there. I'll make a couple of levels. Get the right angle. Kind of put them ahead of the boat. Looks good enough. Now let's make some sales. I think these let's go back in the titanium white and get a shape. I think these bottom ones kind of just come in. Another one right behind it. Like that. Next level. I kind of go out the other way. Probably going to be one. Three tiers. Sails on the bottom. Put them up there. I'll block that in a little bit. Well, I don't have to get too specific. Just want to. The indication. Won't get have to get too terribly detailed, but This one. Clean the brush. Got too much paint on there. I'm gonna wipe cheap and just wipe the brush. Oh, we am blowing out there. Sail coming on this back side. Now it looks like it's moving. We got three there, so and I'm probably not. Nautically correct, so for those of you uh, merchant mariners out there, you'll have to forgive me.
when I got a neighbor that's been a merchant mariner for the majority of his adult life. And, uh, he may correct me on some of this. Drop this on the signal down a little bit. Maybe one, one up top. On him. Maybe one up top. I guess that'd be a mast up top there. What's a basic? Outline on that boat. Mike, uh, let's see where my power knife is. Uh, brush again. I may even add Keep catching on the wind. Right in the middle. There's two. Like she's kind of like me, full of hot air. I was talking to y'all about my neighbor, and he he probably wouldn't appreciate me saying this, but he'll probably watch the video. You know, mariners are very or have had to have been kind of jack of all trade to survive in their industry, and it's still the same today. But um, me and him used to fish a whole bunch, and uh, I've got to know him so well that. Uh, I could just about think what he was going to do ahead of time. And uh, we decided we was going to go redfish, catch some redfish one day. And uh, got ready to throw the anchor out. And. Uh, he says, I, got, I, I, I didn't have to tie the rope tied to the anchor. And he said, uh, well, you need to tie a 
double sheep shank or whatever it was on that on that line so you'll you'll make sure your anchor doesn't come loose. And foreseeing that event, I had a note in my pocket that said and I won't I won't give you his name but it said uh Mr. W is gonna tell me I need to tie some crazy knot in, in the anchor line because I'm not tying it right. So as soon as he did it, I pulled out the uh, I pulled out the note that I had and gave it to him, and uh, it was humorous to say the least. Probably need to put a little something to support that sail across there. Here we go. Little lines here. There we go. There's a line going there. I have something to tie that sail on. I'm gonna work on the boat a little bit more. I got some raw umber here. Add a little character. To our boat. Raw umber is kind of, I don't know if you call it translucent or what, but you put it on top of that black, it sure does blend good. Got our bow there. Let's take some of that black, blue, and green. I want to show some indication of this boat. Kind of reflective. that horizon just a little more prominent maybe just a touch of green here and there it don't matter hard to go wrong kind of just blend all that in Pretty good so far. Let's see, what can we do to add some interest to the paint? I'll tell you what I do want to do is get my fan brush, clean it up a little bit. Thing you should never run out of is blue. Put 
dark spot across here. Thinner. Got to pull it straight down. Don't do like I do. Kind of make it rain over there. Got a little rainstorm going on in the background. Clean this thing up. Wanna make a bigger boat? No problem. We'll make a bigger boat. I promise you it's a whole lot cheaper than the shipyard does it. clouds in the back. Grab a little bit of that black. Clean that up just a little bit. There we go. Really got the bow sticking out there now. can do I've got an old brush here that has horribly been abused and uh, the bristles are all flayed on it and everything but uh, you can use that thing Get some water action going on. We're gonna make him cut the water a little bit. Let's see. Let's let's work on these sails a little bit. I'm not 100% satisfied with them. Let me let me clean it up just a little bit. I have made a bigger mess trying to clean up. You would think that I would give up on that, but my OCD won't let me. So you all will have to forgive me. I've seen people wear up. Uh, Plastic gloves on paper, but or what do you, what do you call them? The latex rubber gloves, but I can't seem to make myself do that. Let's see, where's my brush here? 
Tak mu nie proszę. Light somewhere. I want to shoot up here. There's a lot like their billowing, I guess, would be the term. So I'll we'll kind of dark them up. Dark them up to the inside. Light my outside, you know, or vice versa. You'll get that effect depending on which way the light's coming from. Kind of smooth this thing out a little bit. So we've got two cells up in the air, I forgot. Very fun painting to do. I've enjoyed it. So far. I think pretty much anybody can do it. Oh, we need to put us a little crow's nest up there too. I probably need to put me a There we go. If you way up there, you're doing something. Just on each one of those color changes. Obviously that wind is blowing. The way we got them sails popped up. Add a little 
flavor about this guy. Oh yeah. Huge difference. Huge difference. Hey y'all, I'm just an amateur, very amateur. I haven't even been doing this a year, but if it relaxes you, it don't matter what the paint looks like. Close and y'all have endured listening to me ramble for quite some time. Get some of that dark sea out. Add a little flare to our ship. It's probably it just won't look like old wood. What do they use? That old teak or I'm sure there was a lot of exotic woods used on these old ships. I'm telling what it'd be worth today. Excuse me. Once again, I'm going to make another little change back here. I don't like the way that back of that ship is laid down. Curve that up a little bit. Stormy weather. Maybe we'll call it stormy weather. Add a little character to these sails here. Something will kind of separate them a little bit. This ship cut through the wind, man. I like it. Well, you get the idea. So, uh, I mean, there's so many things you can do. But I think our ship is pretty much 
where I want it to be. Still some changes that you could make, but good enough. Uh, hope you all enjoyed it. Enjoyed spending time with me. And uh, shoot, I kind of like painting these ships. We might do something a little different next time. So uh, once again, thanks for being here. And uh, hope to see you all soon. Have a good afternoon.